www.soapfaceclosures.com. What we're going to be doing today is um, installing a closure. I'm going to show you from start to finish how to install your closure. When you get your closure, basically the closures look like this. This is actually a used closure that we already used. Um, we just tuck it out of her and my um, sister hair. And um, what we did was we washed the closure and we braided it up. We braided it because this is a wavy closure. And in order to keep the waves, you want to braid it while it's damp or wet. And this will ensure that the waves will come back and it'll be pretty again. Okay, so basically, it's all braided so and it's, real, it's really, really dry. So the next step is to apply the acrylic filler, which is this right here. Okay, so I'm going to spray it. And this right here, this will ensure that you um, that the knots is still and make sure that there's no shedding of the closure. So that's what I'm going to knots right now with the acrylic filler. So basically, basically okay, so I'm just going to put it down. You want to shake it up. And you just want to spray this part of the closure right here. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. And you're going to let it dry for 15 minutes, and then after that is done, you're going to spray it again and let that dry for 15 minutes, and then you're done with the solar all together. So basically, you could buy this from Michael's or any craft store, but um, that's that. So next, I'm going to um, braid her hair up and get started. So this is my um, sister, Leticia. She has all her hair out. So what, basically, what I'm going to do now is braid it. And we'll be back after I braid it and we can get started. Okay? Okay. Okay, we're back. I braided her hair completely up as you can see. The next step will be to sew the weave into her hair. This is eight ounces worth of virgin ringy hair. This is our wavy texture. And I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna sew her hair completely up with the weave. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna come back and apply the closure. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're back. So what I did was I sewed the weave into her braids that I did. So as you can see, it's all sewed around the perimeter right here. I left this little part right here open out because I'm going to do the put the closure right here. But first, we want to cut the lace. Okay, now what we have is we have this closure that we already had earlier, and the lace is already cut, as you can see, because we're reusing this one. But this is a new one. I'm going to cut the lace on this new one. So when you cut the lace, you always want to leave about an inch of lace left on the closure. So that's what I'm going to do. You want to make sure that the baby hair is pushed off the way. I'm just going to cut lace onto the closure. So this is the part you're going to um, glue right above the hairline. Okay? So. Okay, the next step is I'm going to sew the closure into the braid. So what you want to do is you always want to continue to measure and make sure that the lace is right above the hairline. You do not want the, want the lace on the hair at all. You want it right above the hairline because this is where your glue is going to be applied. So you all constantly want to measure as stated. So I'm measuring the lace right above her hairline. And then I'm just going to sew this part of the closure right here into this braid. Okay, now that we have completed the right side, now we're going to do the left side. So I'm just going to sew this part onto this braid right here. And of course, you want to constantly measure to make sure that the lace is right above the hairline. That's the most important part. That's what's going to make it look natural. So, okay. So I'm going to start sewing. I'm going to start sewing the closure into this braid right here.
So both the right and left side of the closure is completely sewed. What we have left is this part right here. We still have to sew the back down to one of these braids. But before we could do that, we have to fill this part in with weave hair. So we're going to fill this in, and then we're going to sew this part right here flat onto this braid. So we'll be back once that's done. Okay, we're back. I finished um, sewing the closure into the braid. All the weave pieces are sewed in. The next part is to glue the lace right above the hairline. Okay, what we use first is scalp protector. So basically, I'm going to apply the scalp protector right above the hairline. And it takes about one minute to dry. So you want to make sure it's completely dry before you apply the adhesive. Basically, scalp protector, um, protect your skin from, from the adhesive. So that takes about one minute. In the meantime, I'm going to explain the glue. This is the glue we use. It's called Ultra Hold Adhesive. It's um, kind of messy because it's really, really thick and it actually fell. So it's not, it's kind of messy, but it's cool. Okay, this is the glue. It's kind of thick and stated. But okay, I don't use the brush because the brush is it's just too thick and too messy. I usually use a Q-tip to apply. So basically, I'm going to dip the Q-tip into the glue. By this time, the um, scalp protector is completely dry. So I dip the Q-tip into the glue. Can you hold that, please? Mm -hmm. And then I'll just apply the glue right above the hairline. apply the lace down and normally I time it exactly 25 to 30 minutes and then you could put the lace down so we'll be back once the glue is completely dry. The glue should be dry now it's 20 it's been 30 minutes so the last part is you want to apply the lace onto the adhesive glue. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna pull the lace down Also, you can just push your baby hair down like that. Okay. Okay. One more note. Um, we had a little a bit of excess glue, and what you want to do is you want to clean that out with off with alcohol. But basically, the lace closure is in. Look like her hair. You can pull it back. You could um, part it down the middle if you want. But she's gonna um, style her hair, and we'll be back with the with the finished look. Welcome back. This is the final phase of the install video. Kanisha did just finish installing my closure. And as you can see, um, I did place a part on my the left-hand side of my head. But this closure is pretty much, pretty, actually pretty much versatile. You could place a part anywhere. If you wanted to place a part down the middle, you can. Um, let's see. If I wanted to place the part down the middle, this is how it would look. Even though that's not quite the middle, but you get the idea. If you wanted to wear the, your hair back, you can. Um, as you can see, it has a silk base. So it resembles your scab. It appears as if the hair is growing directly out of your, your head. So that's why I love this closure. It's very versatile. But um, as stated, this is the finished result. And uh, we just wanted to say thank you for watching our video and visiting our website at www.soapbaseclosures.com. Thank you.